It's Stuart Caden, head here once again with Pirates TV, and I have with me tonight's man of the match for the Pirates, Graham Meakin. Graham, your thoughts on tonight's game? Yeah, it's disappointing, I think. The first 10 minutes we were sleeping, and we were all over the place, and then once we started to come back into the game, we kinda, it was more even, so it's disappointing, but we started playing the last three times, so. Yeah, I mean, very true, we've got to play them another three times. I mean, we did wake up the second period a lot more. We were unlucky in the third period to get the goal chopped off. But your perfor performance yourself, overall, what do you think? Oh, I'm sorry, I it was a disappointing start, but you can only do what you can do, you know what I mean? I think generally as a team we started to get more comfortable and more into the game. But it's a competitive league, I think there'll be games like that, or one goal games either way. And we just need to learn from it and be better. OK, Graham, won't keep you any longer. Right. Right, Stuart back here with Pirates TV. I have with me Pirates coach Ian Turley. Ian, your thoughts on tonight's game? I think, you know, I think obviously when you spoke to Graham there, he kind of summed it up. You know, it was the that first ten minutes, you know, which really defined the game. Um, thereafter, you know, if you look at it period by period, Aberdeen took the first, we took the second, and then we, we obviously drew, you know, the the third. So, you know, I'm not am I disappointed about the the loss? Yep, absolutely we are. Um, overall performance, you know, decent enough. Um, I think, you know, in the second, we gave ourselves enough chance to, to win. I did think that. And then at times in the third. But, you know, Graham said as well there that it's, we're going to have games like that this year. We, you know, we have to play teams four times. So it is, it is what it is. I think, you know, if you were in the, in the stands there, you probably you know, got your value for money. It was a decent enough game. Um, I'm pretty sure most people will say that. So there's, there's, there's certainly elements that we need, to, we need to work on. But I think we did see flashes of you know, where, the, where our team can go. I absolutely do believe that. Um, that was obviously our second game. So, you know, there's, there's, there's massive room for improvement and I think we are heading in the, direct, the right direction, although the result didn't go our way. Um, you know, we're obviously integrating some of the 19s there. We had a couple of guys missing tonight, but that's going to be the case anyway. We're not in that COVID-esque world now where we're going to blame that. You know, there's going to be guys short through injuries, suspensions, illness, work commitments anyway. So, um, you know, you, they guys lace up the same way as us. So, in terms of overall performance, you know, not, not too disappointed, obviously disappointed with the result. I think, yeah, the two youngsters tonight, they certainly didn't look out of place in the team. Is that what you're hoping to do when you're bringing the boys through to give them that chance? It's just about giving them, you know, um, putting them in situations that they can, they can make mistakes, you know, because um, they are young kids, they're going to make mistakes. Um, they've, you know, they're playing in the under-19s, you know, all the kids there tonight have never even played 19s before, you know, this season as well so we're just trying to give them a taste of what it's like at senior level hockey and hopefully you know through the process of the next you know couple of years then we start seeing you know some of the kids coming through and and contributing at, at senior level so it's a whole learning process we're happy with the with the effort you know that the kids put in and, and you know their aptitude and their willingness to learn um absolutely they're all good young kids uh, it's just about you know as myself and adam putting them in situations where they're allowed to make mistakes and you know it, they're allowed to progress and develop. That's great. Thanks very much for your time, and I won't keep you any longer. Right. Thanks, Stuart. Cheers.